of Fire family, my name is Dave Niku and I am your coach for the next 30 minutes of non-stop strike action. We are bringing you the best workouts on earth by the best trainers on the planet. Today's workout, we have our strike class for you. So if you haven't done any combat sports or any kind of martial arts before, all good, we got you, we got you covered. All you're gonna need to know is bring your A game, keep your fists up, your elbows in, your chin down. We're gonna show you how to strike this workout. It's going to be a combination of striking combos as well as hit exercises, body weight exercises. You'll be working your core, working your upper body and your lower body. We will be punching, jabbing, crossing, uppercut, hooks. I'll break down the technique for you as we go. But for now, clear your space, grab your water bottle, grab your mat. Let's get ready to attack. We're kicking off this workout in five, four, three, two, one. Let's do this. We're gonna start off with some nice easy arm swings. We want to loosen up your arm joint, your shoulder joint. So stay relaxed. My man, Sham, one of our Get Lit Fire trainers. It's gonna help us through the exercise demonstration. We're gonna get you warm. And three, two, one, we're making the change to a karaoke twist. So just bounce it from side to side, twist the hips again. We're loosening up the hips. Stay nice and light up on our toes. Loosen up the ankle joint, the knee joint. Stay relaxed. Now we we don't want to be too tight. If we're too tight, we can't fight right. In three, two, one, we've got some Muay Thai knee circles. So we're gonna circle once to the left, once to the right. We're gonna bring that knee up nice and high and then circle outward. The outward rotation through the hips is gonna help you stay limber, to get warm, and loosen up those kicking muscles. In three, two, one, we're coming down to a squat hamstring extension. Tuck your fingers underneath your toes. Keep your heels down, lift your hips up, straighten your legs. This exercise is gonna help you lengthen as well as strengthen your hamstrings. We wanna be warm, we wanna be loose, we wanna be ready to rumble. In three, two, one, let's change. Switch climber. From a plank position, step one foot outside the hand and then the other. Press the hips forward, keep your core tight. We're going to change, pick up the pace, turn up the tempo, we've got a mountain climber. So with this mountain climber, just drive your knees nice and fast, rapid fire knees towards your elbows. Keep the core tight, the back flat. Big shout out to Josh Tan, our trainer and demonstrator here. Come and check one of Josh's classes out. We've got jumping jacks, quick switch. Hands come up above the head, feet go nice and wide. You should be feeling your heart rate coming up. We want to get you warm, get you fired up, ready to attack this first round. We've got five seconds here, and then we're going to do some punch work, and some shadow boxing. So we're going to go jab, cross, one, two, jab, cross, one, two. Make a fist with your hand. Thumbs out over the top, knuckles to nose. Visualize your opponent look for your target. Imagine you're punching somebody in the nose, not in the stomach. Keep those hands up. And now we're going to pick up the pace. We've got some shadow boxing hooks. So elbows come up nice and high. Imagine you're hooking to the side of the face. From here, we're getting that heart rate up. Keeping it quick. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Quick change, we've got shadow boxing uppercuts. So with our uppercuts, we're going to stay nice and light on our toes, twinkle toes, punching up underneath the nose. Let's work, let's work, hustle for the muscle people. We're going to go, 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 five seconds. Keep that fire burning bright, three, two, one, let's make the change. We've got jab, cross, but fast. When we pick up the pace, we're going to move our feet. If we've got fast feet, it means we're going to have fast and we're going to be able to move out of the way, stay elusive, evade your opponent, get into a position to counter attack. Okay, we've got 20 seconds to loosen up the wrist, recover, grab a drink. It should be a little wet, perhaps a drip or two of sweat. Ready to attack the first of five rounds. We've got a five round fight. We're going to start off. Nice and simple with a combination broken down for you by Sham and 3, 2, 1. 
Sham I am, kicking up dust. And I don't give a damn. Here we go, we've got a jab, a cross, then a left uppercut. Now you don't need a bag. But if you're not punching anything, I want you to visualize your target. Focus on the technique. So every time you punch, breathe out. You want to punch and breathe out. Tightening up your core, working those abs. The jab, cross, boom. You're going to jab, knuckles to nose, with the uppercut. You want to keep the elbow down, fist up, palm up. Imagine you're punching somebody underneath the chin. Here we go. Our next exercise, let's elevate your heart rate, get those knees up nice and high. Get your knees up high. Every time you bring your knees up, make sure that they come up at least above your hip height. Don't let those heels touch the ground. Stay right up on your toes. It's gonna work your calf muscles. It's gonna work your cardio, your heart rate. We've got 20 seconds here. So for this workout, for each round, we're mixing up the combination, the strike work, along with some hip exercises to make sure we maintain a good high heart rate. We're then going to add to this combination as we are now. So let's go back to our combo. One jab, one hook, one uppercut, one, two knees. One jab, one hook, one uppercut, two knees. Jab, hook, uppercut, knee. Knee. With the knee, what I want you to do is bring the knee up and out. So you're striking forward through your target with the knee. Press the hips forward, lean the shoulders back. It's going to get extra leverage. We want to get that leverage, use our body weight to help improve the power of every strike. Power and technique. Jab, hook, uppercut, knee, knee. We're using those hands as well. Quick change, we've got a running man with knees. Now, if you have a ball, grab it. Use that as a contact point for your knee. So every time you're hitting that ball or that contact point with your knee. Also using the abs, crunching down, striking up. Could be a ball, could be a cushion. Could be somebody you don't like, it's up to you. Plan your attack, go. So we're driving those knees up, giving that little running man like a skip. Use that momentum, swinging the back leg and then bringing it forward, driving it into your target. We've got five seconds here before we blast those thighs, glutes and quads. Here we go. So check this out, we've got a lunge back, fly on knee driver. So we're lunging back, slight lunge, not too deep with the lunge back. We're gonna spring up your options here. Just simply stand up as opposed to jump up. But if you're feeling fire, if you've got that strike in your eye, then let's go. Add the jump. That extra jump, that explosive force coming off the ground. It's going to elevate your heart rate, kick your cardio, and we're going to change legs. So we've got the same movement, but on the opposite side. So we're changing. So check this out. We're going to step back, drive up. Step back, drive up. Here we go. we got five seconds. Can you give me two more good solid reps? Make it high. Explode. Knock out knees. Nice. We've got one minute to rest to recover. If you can feel that heart rate sky high. You can feel it starting to burn through your chest. Lungs opening up. Then you know you're doing it right. Doing fantastic, I want you to stay with me, stay in this fight, grab a drink, rehydrate, towel down, stay loose, stay light. For our next set of exercises, we're going to be working on another combination. We're then going to be coming down to the floor for some floor exercises. Then back up, hitting our combination again and adding to it. So every time we hit the combo, we want to master the technique. I want you to go slow with purpose and precision before you pick up the pace. We're going to kick off in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. 
So we've got a jab, a left uppercut, and a cross. Jab, uppercut, cross. Jab, jab is a straight punch. Uppercut, we're coming up underneath the guard. Cross, we're punching with our back hand. That's our power hand, our knockout hand. Again, jab to nose. Uppercut to chin. Cross to nose. So it looks like this. Nose, chin, nose. That's our target zone. Knuckles to nose with the punch. On those straight punches, uppercuts are coming up underneath the chin, right under the jaw. You want to lift them off the ground. Focus on good form, keeping that technique nice and crisp. Elbows in, chin down, hands up. Twist and turn those shoulders. We're coming down to the floor, we've got a frog jump. This exercise is going to work through your chest, shoulders, triceps, using those arms to stabilize, as well as the lower body. You feel this working through the mobility in your hips. You jump those knees outside your elbows, feet outside the hands. Keep your butt low at the top and your back flat at the bottom with the feet back. When it starts to burn, I want you to turn it up. Stay focused, you only got 10 seconds here. That means four more good solid reps. Technique is everything. Let's go. And change, we're coming back up, we've got our combination. Jab, uppercut, boom, cross, knee, elbow. Jab, uppercut, cross, one knee, one elbow. So the knee and the elbow is on the same side. So check this out, we've got jab, uppercut, cross, one knee, one elbow. With the elbow, we're coming across the side of the face with the elbow. The elbow is coming across your body, like on a, on a diagonal down and across. Here we go. Let's work that technique. Once you've got that technique, then you can start to really yeah. fire it up. Breathe out. Yeah. Tighten up those core it, muscles. We're changing exercises. I get it, I We've got two jump lunges and one squat jump. So we're two jump lunges, one squat jump. So here we go. Lunge, lunge, squat jump. We're going to blast those thighs. Your options here, step back lunge, step back lunge, one squat. So you can choose the low impact option, or you can go high impact, high cardio, your core. Whatever you're doing, keep those hands up, guard yourself at all times, think about your technique, look after those knees, land light, pace yourself, connect with your breathing, get into a rhythm, so each rip has its own rhythm, picks up from the last one. In three, two, one, we're coming down to a squat pulse. The squat pulse is gonna help us dial into the burn and our quads, into our hamstrings, into our glutes. Let's keep it low. Just pulsing on the squat, keep it nice and low. Tasty. You can feel that burning. Feel that working through your quads, through your hamstrings, through your glutes. And now we're going to come down, squat, hold. Woo, as if the squat pulses weren't bad enough. Now we've got the hold. Yo, the lovely Marissa giving us an amazing demonstration here. Never been. Keep when the booty down, the chest up, hands together. Calm in the face of the storm. That's how we need to be people. Calm and steady, rock solid in the face of the storm. Lock it in when it's burning. Stand strong. Three, two, one. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we've got a chance to rest and recover before we've got round three coming at you. Now you're getting a feel for the formula. You know what we're up against every round. We've got two combinations. We've got a basic combination. We are then going to add to that combination the second time we come back to it. In between, we're going to be working some core exercises, some cardio exercises some upper body exercises. So be prepared for that quick change. Now if you do have some boxing gloves, you know what, it's worth putting them on, even if you're not punching anything. Because that extra 12 ounces, 16 ounces, whatever your glove weight may be, is gonna give you a little bit more of a workout. If you've got no gloves, then that's all good, no problem. Just need to fight fast. Focus on your technique, keep it precise. We're about to kick off for round three and five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. 
So we're gonna double jab, we're gonna pump that jab, we're gonna cross, roll under. Double jab, pump, pump, cross, roll under. So we're rolling to our back leg, towards our back leg. So we punch, punch, cross, evade the punch, roll under. Jab, jab, cross, roll under. That's it. Jab, jab, cross. Worse. Think about your technique. Worse. When you're punching out, Worse. your hands are coming back nice and high. Worse. You want to keep your knuckles up around your eyes. Protect yourself. Elbows in. Protect your neck. And three, two, one. We're coming down to the floor. We're going to push up, shoulder tap. This exercise is going to blast through our chest, shoulders, and triceps. You are doing fantastic. Good job. Keep that form strong. Core tight. Squeeze your butt. So squeeze your glutes. That's going to stabilize your hips. It's going to help you get more out of this exercise. So it's going to help you keep your back flat and your core switched on. Glutes, big muscles, the butt, the booty, the peaches. Fire them up. Let's go. In five, four, three, two, one. Making the change, coming back to our combination. Jab, jab, cross, roll under, cross, hook, cross. Jab, jab, cross, roll under, cross, hook, cross. That's a one, two, three. Jab, jab, cross, roll under, cross, hook, cross. Every time we punch, we breathe out. Let's work those abs. Keep the chin down, eyes on your target. Knuckles to nose. Make it smooth. Smooth punches. Roll under. Precision over pace. Get your timing right. Connect those punches. Let it flow. Three, two, one. We're coming back down to the floor. We've got an alternate chest to tricep push up. So hands close, tricep push up. Hands wide, normal push up. Hands close, tricep push up. Hands wide, normal push up. Your options here to do your push ups from the toes. Or if you want, you can drop it down to the knees. Whatever you're picking, whatever option. But make it your own. Work as hard as you can. Just don't stop. Don't let it stop. Keep pumping it up. I never saw this coming, but it's happening. I hit it once and tried to quit, but now I'm back again. It's like I'm in jail in the cell. From in hell, that I smell. I can tell that this hell. But I'm back into action. The slate to her satisfaction. She gives So, our next exercise our tabletop march. We're lifting up those hips, keeping the knees up nice and high. Pressing the hips up towards the ceiling, arms straight. Perhaps relaxing would give me out in this. Don't let those hips. Drop. You want to keep those hips high because that is going to challenge you. Listen, fam, this ain't normal. She burning camels, they purple. Draw stars in the Check this out. We've got one sprawl, one switch surfer. One sprawl, one switch surfer. Let's go. She a demon, she a devil, she a sinner. She my queen. I'm her son. This exercise is going to help us blast through our cardio. It's going to work. Our legs, our glutes, as well as our upper body. We want to be fast getting up off the floor. If we get knocked down seven times, we need to get up eight. Get straight back up. Get up and attack. All right, team. Well done. Three rounds down, two to go. We're past the halfway point. We're killing it, crushing it, knocking them out. Two more rounds left in this fight. So the good news is we're winning all the rounds, but we want to go for the knockout. What that means is keep your hands up, protect yourself at all times, focus on your technique, and let's get some more reps through every set. The next section of our workout, we're going to be working through the lower body with kicks, with knees. We're going to be hitting that heart rate, blasting through some cardio exercises. We're working from the floor and from our feet to so be swift on your transition. We're kicking off around 4 and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
one, let's go. We've got Muay Thai front kicks. So with this kick, we want to kick out, bring the knee up, kick forward. Imagine you're kicking someone in the stomach. So with the kick, we want to lean back into it. So rock those shoulders back to help you get some leverage with every kick. Form big kick, using those hands for balance. And three, two, one, we've got rapid fire straight punches. Let's go, let's go, let's go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Elbows and hands up. We're working the lead, neck legs as well. So we're working our knees, keeping the knees up nice and high. Here we go, pumping it, pumping it, get some rhythm going. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. We've got 10 seconds here, blast it out. Get ready to make the change in five, four, three, two, one. Look at our front kick, opposite leg. So if you were kicking the right side, now you're kicking the left. Let's go. So big kick. Imagine you're kicking the door down. Reach out, kick it with the forward foot, boom. Knock him down in three, two, one. We're going high knees and punches. So this time we're punching up over the head. Imagine you're punching up over head. Hands are punching up, knees are up. And again, keep the same steady, strong pace. Attack your workout. Here we go, here we go. 10 seconds to fire it up. And five. Four, three, two, one. Come on down, we've got a B cycle. We've got our butt on the floor. Sitting up with a slight lean back to engage those abdominals. And from here, we're gonna switch elbow to knee. We're going opposite elbow to knee. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now we're coming to a double crunch. With this double crunch, we wanna crunch up, bringing the shoulder blades and the upper back off the floor. Keep a square angle behind your knees. Feel that working through your upper abs. Doing fantastic, excellent work. Stay with it. Let's go. And three, two, one. Come on back to that B cycle. To the B cycle, we're going opposite elbow to knee, switching across, making the connection. This is gonna help us work through those obliques. It's going to challenge your core. Let's work. We've got five seconds here before we come back. Here we go. Let's crunch, working through the upper abs. Let's kill it. Let's work, let's work, let's work. 10 seconds. And three, two, one. Excellent. So the good news is we've got one more round to go. You made it this far. Let's continue the fight, stay strong. Now is the round where we empty the tank, hold nothing back, let it loose. That means if you did like 10 push-ups the last time we did a set, try get 11, try get 12, push yourself. Use it or lose it. When you feel your body settling into a nice stable rhythm, pick up the pace. See if you can't eke out another rep, another kick, another punch. All right, so we've got 20 seconds to fire this up and finish this like a champ. Let's go, here's what you're in for this round. We're gonna be working through the lower body. We're gonna be working through some knees. We're gonna be working through the floor. 
some core exercises and three, two, one, give me some Muay Thai knees. Let's go. So with the skip knees, we're skipping. Boom. We want to get a rhythm. So we're bringing those knees up and through our target. Knee, knee. We're using the hands to help us get leverage. Imagine you're pulling somebody down, grabbing them behind the neck and pulling them in towards your knee. We're going to blast this out. We've got five seconds here before we pick up the pace with some lateral shuffles. Here we go, let's shuffle. We're shuffling to the side, one burpee, let's go. Hit it. Shuffle, burpee, shuffle, 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 get down. So our goal here is to be quick on our feet. If we get knocked down, get straight back up. Trust me, everybody, every fighter, everyone in life gets knocked down at some point. You just gotta get back up. So let's go, let's practice that. Be resilient. Get up, be strong, let's go. Can you give me two more? Two more good reps, keep it quick. Ducking and diving, three, two, one. We've got our Muay Thai knees. So you know the technique here, we're driving the knee up using the hands for rhythm, coordination, and balance. Drive those knees in and through your target. Let's go team. Work, let's work. So we're coming back to our lateral shuffle with a burpee. You know what to do? If you got 10 reps last time, I want you to see if you can get 12. Let's go, 20% more. Two more reps, extra reps. Challenge yourself. Make it fast, people. We got 10 seconds, how many more you got? You've got three, four, five, don't limit yourself. Keep pushing, keep pushing. And three, two, one. We're coming down to the double crunch. We've done this one before in the previous round. You know what to do. Make sure you get that upper back up off the floor. Keep a little gap between your chin and your chest so we're not cranking on the neck. Squeeze the abs. Make that mind to muscle connection. Focus on the target area. Breathe out. Now the good news is we've only got to just over a minute to go. You can do anything for a minute. Let's do this. And change, we've got a plank thread. So this is very similar to our side plank. We're keeping the hips up nice and high, forcing the forearm and elbow through the floor. We're only here for 20 seconds. Eyes on fingertips, follow the hand. Let's go. This round is almost over, you can do it. You can feel those hips starting to shake, starting to drop. Don't listen to them. Pop it up, keep it up, let's go. One more minute, two exercises, 30 seconds here on the double crunch. If you did 15 reps last time, do 16 this time. Let's go, finish like a champ. All the way to the end, win the round, win the fight. 10 seconds, team. What have you got left in the tank? You got two more reps, five seconds. One more good one, squeeze, crunch it. And we're gonna change plank thread, our very last exercise. So let's lock it in, we're coming to the opposite side. So if you had the right arm down last time, you're on the left side this time. Let's go, 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 go. Keep the hips up, up on our toes. Feel that crush your core. Challenge your center. Activate your abs. In five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Excellent work, team. Now the good news is all of the hard work is over. You've done an amazing job. Well done. I want to congratulate you for making it through this strike workout. I also want to thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to come strike with us, to come light it up with me, Dave Nookie, your trainer, and our incredible team of fire trainers. I want a big shout out to all our fire trainers, our fire family, there, our fire fans. And if you're joining us from anywhere around the world, Australia, New Zealand, the US, Philippines, Indonesia, Hong Kong, Singapore, China, Hawaii, Europe, wherever you may be, we're getting viewers from all around the world. We want to thank you for checking us out. And we want to wish you well. We want to wish you health. We want to wish you safety. 
stay strong, stay fit, stay connected, and stay with us for this cool down, your body will thank you for it. We're going to come into a standing chin stretch in 3, 2, 1. Let's go there now with the lovely Miss Evie, Evie Wong. Big shout out to Evie. Giving us the perfect exercise demonstration, stretching it out, control your breathing, big deep breath in, exhale out, and allow your breath to help you reduce your heart rate. Three, two, one, we're going to change to a quad stretch, so bring the tongue of your shoe up towards your butt, press the hip forward. All of the time, we're just thinking about breathing, relaxing, restoration, relaxation, release. Okay. Now let's take the quad stretch, but this time on the opposite leg. Four, three, two, one. Make it sexy. Give me some nice big head circles. So this movement is just going to help you keep those hips nice and loose. Loose hips. Good idea. Okay. Feel that tension release through your lower back. Come on down. Let's lifting out those hamstrings. Tuck your fingers underneath your toes. Lift the hips up nice and high. Straighten out your legs. Feel that stretch. I duck them and dodge them, weave them on the track like some Indian now. If you feel it, know this ain't a villain. Alright, my fine family. We're gonna shift into a downward facing dog. I am not a messiah. Whatever your downward dog looks like, if it looks this tight, you know it must be right. If not, then uh, just bend your knees. Relax and gently pull your chest back towards your thighs. Breathe into the stretch. Don't fight it. Ah, let it happen. We're going to come down into child's pose. Stretch out, taking the hands off the side of the back. Again, I want to thank you so much for joining me joining our team we are thinking of you we're sending you much love positive vibes thank you for kicking ass with us during this strike workout we're going to take one more stretch shifting across to the opposite side so just remember people stay strong stay safe stay home and never ever ever people lose your fire Fly away.